Hey there, creative minds. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something super exciting for you. A step-by-step -step guide on how to create a flipbook using the awesome design tool Canva. Whether you're an aspiring artist, a storyteller, a businessman, an author, a content creator, a chef or restaurant owner, a nutritionist, or just someone who loves experimenting with visuals, this tutorial is perfect for you. I'll take you through the entire process from start to finish. And by the end of this video, you'll have your very own flipbook masterpiece ready to share with the world. So grab your creativity and let's dive right in. But before we do, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss out any of the amazing tutorials and creative content on this channel. Alright, enough of the intro. Let's get flipping with Canva. So in order to create our flipbook, we'll go to canva.com and here we will look for the templates of book. We'll hit the enter button and you can see that there are 68,000 plus templates available in Canva for book designs. To be more precise, we can choose the exact type of book we want to make. For example, we want to create a recipe book. So we'll write here in the template search box recipe book and we'll hit the enter button and you can see that Canva has provided us with 76,000 plus templates of book designs. So we'll look for a suitable template for the type of recipe book we want to create. Let's say we want to create a Japanese recipe book. We would click this option. So you can see this book has eight pages. So we will hit this customize template button. So in this way, the design of the book would open. You can see that all the pages are now available in our template. We can make changes to our recipe book as well. For example, if you want to change this email address or the website address, you can do so. You can also change the book title. You can even also change the pictures. If you have any picture available in your library and if you want to add the pictures from your own collection, you can also do so by clicking on the image. For now, we would keep these images as they look perfect. Once we're done, we can also add some elements to our cover or the pages of our our book we can add logos for example if you want to add a logo to our booklet we would go to elements and here we would search for food and you can choose any logo of your choice let's say we choose this we would drag it here and we would adjust the size of our logo and place it here like this. You can even change the color of your logo. You can keep it gray or you can color it as per your choice. We can also update the text of our book as per our choice. Once we are done with the customization of our book, we would go to this share button and here we would click on more option. We'll scroll down and we would look for simple booklet. We would click this option and it will give us the option to choose the number of pages we want to create. For now, we would go for all eight pages and we would simply click this save button. It will take some moments to prepare our design. So once our design is saved, we would simply click this option view in simple booklet. Simple Booklet is basically a content design app which is integrated with Canva. So we would click this view in Simple Booklet and it will take us to simplebooklet.com. Here we need to create an account. You can create an account through your Gmail, through your Facebook, through Microsoft, or you can also log in with email. I have already created an account in Simple Booklet. So I would simply click this option. And in this way, I would log in to simplebooklet.com. So we would simply click this button. So our design is imported here. We would click this option ready. It will again take some moments to import our design. So you can see that our booklet is created here. So once our design is imported, we would go to this button, go to design. And here, first of all, we would click this option of presentation and we can choose the theme of our choice. There are a number of themes available here for customization as per your choice. You can choose any theme of your choice. For now, I'm going to choose this. So this background would be uploaded. So in this way, the background of our booklet would be updated. You can see this. Now we would go again to the left side of the screen and we would click this option page flip. Here we would select this page flip transition option. 
we will hit this edit button and it will give us options to choose between the flip transitions the first option page curl this is basically the flip book option so we would click this option and we would click on done so now you can see this message that your canva design is now a simple booklet now if you turn the pages you can see that they are turned like flip book So you can see that this is a great way to design the content of your own without having any knowledge about the content design. By following these simple ways, you can create your own content, your own booklets through Canva. Now you can simply go to share option. And here you can share your booklet through LinkedIn, through your email, through other social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, by clicking this start sharing option. You can even share the link of your booklet through your email, through WhatsApp, or through other social media channels, even through your YouTube. So this is a great way of creating your own flip books, having artistic and amazing designs without spending a penny or without consulting any content designer or without even having a knowledge of content design. And there you have it, folks, your very own flipbook masterpiece. All thanks to Canva's fantastic features and your creative genius. As you could see that how easily you can create your own flipbooks and other amazing content with Canva without any previous knowledge of content design. Hope you had as much fun creating this as I did showing you how. If you found this tutorial helpful and got something new to learn, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow creative enthusiasts. And if you have any questions or want more awesome tutorials like this, let me know in the comments below so that you can unleash your creativity. Thanks for joining me today and until next time, keep creating, keep innovating and keep flipping those pages of imagination. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.